The Father has given Christ all power, honor, and kingship. All people will obey him. We praise you, the Lord God Almighty, who is and who was. You have assumed your great power. You have begun your reign. The nations have raised in anger. But then came your day of wrath. Have the monument to judge the dead, the time to reward your servants, the prophets. And the holy ones who revere you, the great and the small alike. Now have a salvation and power come, the reign of our God and the authority of his anointed one. For the accuser of our brothers is cast out, who night and day accused them before God. They defeated him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Love for life did not deter them from death, so rejoice, you heavens, and you that dwell therein. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Father has given all power, honor, and kingship. All people will obey him. All of you should be like-minded, sympathetic, loving towards one another, kindly disposed, and humble. Do not return evil for evil or insult for insult. Return a blessing instead. This you have been called to do, that you may receive a blessing as your inheritance. The Lord has given us food, bread of the finest wheat. The Lord has given us food, bread of the finest wheat. Honey from the rock to our heart's content. Bread of the finest wheat. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord has given us food, bread of the finest wheat. God has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. My soul proclaims the greatness of the, the Lord. Lord. My spirit, spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, Savior for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. On this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He, he has, has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He, he has cast his down his the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. God has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. Let us call upon Christ, the Good Shepherd, who comes to the aid of his people. Hear us, O God, our refuge. Blessed are you, Lord, for you graciously called us into your holy church. Keep us within the church until death. God is, O God, our refuge. You have given the care of the churches to Francis, our Pope. Give him unfailing faith, lively hope, and living concern. God, O oh God, our refuge. Grant the grace of conversion to all sinners and the grace of true repentance to all men. God, O oh God, our refuge. You were willing to live as a stranger in our world. Be mindful of those who are separated from family and homeland. God, O oh God, our refuge. To all the departed who have hoped in you, Grant eternal peace. Hear us, O God, our refuge. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for guiding us through the course of this day's work. In your compassion, forgive the sins we have committed through human weakness. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ru ruin of souls. Amen. O glorious Prince, Saint Michael, chief and commander of the heavenly hosts, guardian of souls, vanquisher of rebel spirits, servant in the house of the divine king and our admirable conductor, you who shine with excellence and superhuman virtue, deliver us from all evil who turn to you with confidence and enable us by your gracious protection to serve God more and more faithfully every day. Father, I abandon myself in your hands. Do with me what you will. Whatever you may do, I thank you. I am ready for all, I accept all. Let only your will be done in me and in all your creatures. I wish no more than this, O Lord. Into your hands I commend my soul. I offer it to you with all the love of my heart. For I love you, Lord, and so need to give myself. To surrender myself into your hands without reserve and with boundless confidence. For you are my Father. A prayer in time of epidemic. Deal not with us, Lord, according to our sins. And take not vengeance on us because of our misdeeds. Help us, O God, our deliverer. And for thy name's sake, O Lord, free us. Remember not, O Lord, our sins of old. Hasten to us with thy compassion, for we are become exceeding poor. Saint Sebastian, pray for us. That we be made worthy of the promises of Christ. O Lord, hear my prayer. And let my cry come unto thee. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. Vouchsafe to hear us, O God, our only salvation, and through the intercession of the glorious and blessed Mary, Mother of God and ever Virgin, of thy blessed martyr Sebastian, and of, <clears throat> and of all the saints, deliver thy people from the terrors of thy wrath, and restore their confidence by the outpouring of thy compassion. Be moved to pity, O Lord, at our earnest entreaties, and heal the illnesses of body and soul, so that experiencing thy forgiveness, we may ever rejoice in thy blessing. We beseech thee, O Lord, grant us a hearing as we devoutly raise our petitions to thee and graciously turn away the epidemic of plague which afflicts us so that mortal hearts may recognize that these scourges proceed from thine indignation and cease only when thou art moved to mercy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you all and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Our evening prayer is ended. Let us spend this evening in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dulce Tuo. Et spes nostra salve, a te clamamus, exules filii heve, a te suspiramus, gementes et plentes, in hac lacrimarum valve. Ea ergo, Advocata nostra, i los tuos misericordes oculos ad nos converte. Et Jesum benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis post hoc exilium ostende. O oh, 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 claimes, O oh, 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 Pia, O oh, 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 O oh,
cheeks Vir gomali vihar Prosit, Karen, Vir gracias <laughs>